What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy Keep back at it again. Hope you're doing well. We have a suggestion from David Blanchard. Um, only fools and horses fans, strap into your seats. We're going to be checking out some brand spanking new um, that was just brought to our attention by David. So shout out to you, homie. Let me switch scenes. And we're going to be checking out a little bit of Buster Mayfield, man. Let's freaking get it. A little Uncle Albert. So uh, definitely, definitely excited to check this out. Check it out. Buster Merrifield, how are you? <laughs> nice to see you, my dear. Nice to see you. So you, you, you live fairly locally now, don't you? Yeah, it's about 10 miles away, I suppose, in the New Forest. Now, what I want to know, is the story that is now in showbiz legend the truth? You know, you were a bank manager, and then, whack, you were straight in a hit show like Only Fools and Horses. <laughs> That's right. Well, it, it's not exactly true that I went straight into this, because uh, uh, I left the bank and uh, went into show business, and within a week I was in rep, that sort of thing. And I went on for about five years before I got my break in television. I was in the Citadel and Shroud for a Nightingale, but then, whilst in pantomime at uh, Windsor, I got the call to ring the BBC about uh, being in Fools and Horses. <laughs> Shock of my life. It must have been so nerve-wracking, though, the first day on the set with people like David and Nicholas. Well, you can imagine. I mean, uh, David and Nicholas, probably two of the most experienced television actors, and to be thrown in the deep end with them, uh, I was absolutely like that. Terribly nervous. And on the first recording, uh, I recall, uh, I forgot my lines. Oh, shit. Oh. And when I made an exit, I went round backstage and I was walking up and down, you've blown it, this was your big chance and you've blown it, you've forgotten your lines. But uh, I didn't appreciate, as I do now, that in recording, uh, you, you could go through it again. But I went back, white as a sheet, <laughs> and <laughs> David Jason, he knew that uh, it had upset me for forgetting the line. And do you know, the very next line, he forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, instead of reacting like me, the audience who laughed, he just turned around to them and said, I don't know what you're laughing, laughing at. He said, you got in here for nothing. <laughs> Keep quiet. <laughs> now, what a difference in the reaction. Oh, and shit. I know in my heart that he did that deliberately uh, to bring me a little comfort or easing me in, as it were. And I think that says a lot about David. It certainly yeah, does. No, yeah. you're always playing the piano in the show. But can you really play the piano? The strict answer to that is I don't play the piano. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't play in front of anyone who knew music. But uh, I've always been used to uh, playing music, like for sing songs in the army or in a pub and all these sort of things. Uh, it's all really by ear. If anyone hums a tune to me, I somehow can pick up the tune. But anyone who asked me where G was on the piano, I had no idea. <laughs> and as for translating those black note things to the, to the, to the notes, I mean, I, completely out of the question. But I knock a tune up, and uh, some people who know nothing about music say, oh, you're a beautiful player. I bet you really play, you know? You can knock a tune up for us today. Mm, yes, yes, of a sort, yes. Probably will, yeah. Me the way to go.
man. Ladies and gentlemen, Buster, Mary, Feel, holy crap, man. Getting a little, uh, missing a little bit of my Ofa vibes right there, but really cool scene. Now, uh, number one thing cool, obviously he played, you know, Uncle Albert, and now we're hearing his, you know, real life accent. Uh, really kick ass. I, I'm, I bet this man can tell us a hell of, would have been able to tell us a lot more stories um, I would have loved to hear more uh, if there's anything else that we can check out with him. I feel like there's not enough. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. So hearing him talk, hearing him uh, tell his story, uh, definitely really cool. And again, man, who, who the hell wouldn't be even slightly nervous around David, Jason, and Nicholas Lynnhurst there? So, you know, two outstanding actors uh, who have essentially perfected their craft. So uh, for him coming on the show... And again, I'll be honest with you guys. Obviously, we enjoyed Granddad's performance. You know, Granddad, we miss his performance as well. And rest in peace to Buster, uh, my man Buster right now. But, um, you know, it took us a little bit to get used to Uncle Albert. Because, again, you know, I, I'm a sucker for the first characters. But uh, eventually, we warmed up to Uncle Albert. And, you know, thinking back... And seeing his performance, I think he did a hell of a good job, man. He had so many memorable moments. Oh, man, I remember him dri driving the ship. Hey, man, he's getting lost and stuff like that. You know, so great memorable moments. Like, there's countless dozens of, uh, you, know, mo you know, really good scenes uh, with Uncle Albert. So hearing his story, seeing him play, beautiful voice. Uh, you know, definitely better than me on the piano. I can't even play one tune. I wouldn't be able to say where a G tune. I don't know what letters are on the thing. So uh, the fact that you can play massively impressive. Uh, just, whoops. Oh, shit. <laughs> fail. Fail. <laughs> we turn off our camera. So, yeah, this was really cool to see. Uh, if there's more things we can check out with uh, Mr. Buster, uh, we would love to see more. But, yeah, you could just tell that he had a wonderful uh, time. I can just feel it. Uh, you know, be, playing Uncle Albert, you know, with these amazing, amazing characters. My boy, Del Boy, man, and Rodney. All right, Dave. Um, yeah, it's brought me a lot of joy. The characters brought me a lot of joy. The shenanigans, the story, the characters, the the funny lines. Lovely, lovely. Um, all stay stay right here in my heart. I'm always, uh, I try to use those lines as much because it's made an impact on me. As silly, as corny as it may sound. Maybe some people don't believe me, but it's made an impact on, on my life for, for the better. Uh, it's brought me a lot of joy, um, you know, so uh, this was massively really cool to see. And again, hearing his accent, real accent, he just sounds even more distinguished, more badass, more cool. Um, so if there is anything else we can check out with him, please let me know in the comments down below or anything OFA related. Let us know down as well, because the more I get to see, the more the merrier for me. So thank you so much for your suggestion, David. It's brought a massive smile. Uh, yeah, who would have thunk it playing out there? Everyone's singing along. That was really cool. Um, yeah, it was freaking awesome to see. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments down below. I definitely got the OFA vibes. I'm missing it. Um, so, yeah, please find, find some shit for me so we can check it out. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out with this doofus. I appreciate each and every one of you guys who like, comment, subscribe, all that. Uh, you know, shout out to the Patreons as well. We'll never stop thanking you all just for hanging out with me on, on my my journey. Uh, it's been really cool to, to get a chance to see some of these wonderful characters uh you know come to life uh, on the screen for me so thank you so much we'll see you soon thoughts in the comments down below uh yeah keep keep suggesting ladies and gentlemen we will fulfill it as best of our ability just like we just did for david blanchard today uh see you soon peace and love all the best everyone peace